The COVID-19 was present in the U.S. in December 2019, weeks earlier than scientists and public health officials previously thought, and before cases in China were publicly identified, according to a study published in the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases on November 30 last year. This discovery adds to evidence that the virus was quietly spreading around the world before health officials and the public were aware disrupting previous thinking of how the illness first emerged and how it has since evolved. Virus source tracing is a serious scientific matter, which should be based on science and studied by scientists and medical experts. At such a moment, it is imperative for the international community to strengthen confidence, act with unity, and work together in a collective response. Robert Lawrence Kuhn, the chairman of the Kuhn Foundation, told Xinhua, the contemporary world is bound together inextricably. Climate change and pandemic control are the two most glaring problems and potential catastrophes at a planetary level. It is no longer possible for any individual country to go it alone. Mike Ryan, executive director of the WHO's Health Emergencies Program, said at a recent press briefing that the investigations in China may lead to hypotheses and may lead to the need to make further inquiries or investigations in other countries. He said, we will go anywhere and everywhere to gather more information about the origins and impact of disease and urged again to let this mission and let other missions be about science, not about the politics. WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said he's pleased that an international team of scientists are commencing their travel to China to engage in and review scientific research with their Chinese counterparts on the origins of the virus. He also said that what's most critical is that we sequence the virus effectively so we know how it's changing and how to respond.